Hello everybody, this clip is pretty much, you know, just kind of showing the progress in my house and uh, the mess that I got into on my shed. It's is certainly not going to be for everybody and it's going to be quite long, so buyer beware, you know. If you're interested in seeing what I've got going on, go ahead and watch it. If not, no big deal. But for those that don't want to spend the time, either skip ahead or tune out. So, here we go. Hello everybody, I figured I'd give you an update on what's been going on since some of you have been curious. Uh, I got my house siding all the way wrapped around. I had to finish this side, a new window back here, uh, window trim, whatnot. I've already shown the doors, I don't know if I showed the trim on the doors, but got the back sided, new kitchen window trim. Uh, I've got the siding on my shop. That, that was the biggest transformation right there was doing this one. Uh, replaced the trim there actually put in a new door and uh, I don't know if you can really see the front yeah not really but looks pretty good but I was going to show you what I'm working on now quick shot of the back looks pretty good this shed was here when I bought the house I don't know nine or ten years ago and this was an investment property and you can see how slow I'm going at it so turned out to be more work than I thought but this thing wasn't put on a proper you know piers I just sat on cinder blocks and over time they kind of sunk into the ground so you can see how low it's slung here here totally doored been chewed up their step is just four buried cinder blocks but uh, I've got to dig all this out and replace the rotted wood and then a little bit of the flooring. I bought a new steel door for it that's going to go in it. It as well is going to get the hardy plank side siding. But I need to get it up off the ground, you know, and there's only a couple ways to do this, and I'm doing it this way, so I just wanted to show you what I'm doing. You can see that it's got a little rod on the bottom of it, just, you know, sunk in and it wasn't jacked up over time. I'm part to blame. I knew it was happening. Uh, so I'll cut off the bad stuff and then put more on then put a drip edge at the bottom and put on the new siding but to get something like this off the ground you know I only know of a couple different ways and one of them would be to dig a big hole under here and then put your jack under and support it and come up and the way I'm doing it I'll just explain to you what I've got here uh, this is just a treated 4x4 that's probably, I don't know, 10 inches long. Hopefully you can see it. It's real tight back here. Uh, I drilled two 3 8 holes through it completely through that 4x4, completely through this piece of trim which is getting replaced, the siding, and into the corner stud. And then I drove in two 3 8 pieces of rebar all the way into there. And these two 2x4s two here, that'll take care of the vertical shear right there. But I didn't want the thing coming off. Uh, so hopefully I put these 2x4s on here with four screws, two of them, attached it to the 4x and then attached it in here with 3 inch deck screws. And then of course made a little pad for my jack. So my goal here is to get it up high enough to where I can start putting cribbing. There's, I'm going to just stick that brick under if we can get it up. And then I'll crib it over here. And then I'll move up and I'll move around the corners and I'll slowly crib it up to where... I've got enough room to put a more put more blocks under this and raise it up and eventually you know it'll I guess find bedrock but you know so that'll give me some I'd like to get it about three or four inches off the ground so I've got everything set up and we're getting ready to do the lift here sorry about the camera I'm trying to get my glove off and this is kind of a real-time action on how well this Harbor Freight hydraulic bottle jack works so I'm going to go ahead and hit it and see if we can see it coming up. It's definitely coming up. Let me check everything. It's looking good. I'm certainly not sticking my fingers underneath it. I'm just going to slide those under there. This is how you'd grab up anything heavy. You know, like a car. You've got to get it up first and don't trust the jack until you get jack stands under it. Same principle here. So. Wow, it's really just taking it up with the push of a button. I can hear a little creaking. I don't want to go 
too far with it in one shot. I want to get it up some, let it settle, and settle, creak out. Yeah, I got that in there, no problem. Actually a little higher than what I needed. So, anyway, that's just an idea. This is kind of a twofer, you know, an idea on how to jack something like this up. Uh, I did the same thing on my shop you just saw originally because I needed to replace everything under it and it was just you know destroyed I did the same principle here but I think I used bolts because I had access to the structure and I didn't use the rebar method like this very long lag bolts would probably be even better but this is going to work for me I've got everything on hand so like I said I'm going to slowly go around the corners and crib it up and correct this block where it's tilted and then put some more blocks on top of it until I get it where I want it and then replace any bad wood I find replace the sheeting drip edge siding everything I've already mentioned so just wanted to give you a little heads up on what I was doing and really to show this thing in action I've used it many times so far I really love it it's giving me no problem. Well, I've made some progress none of this has been fun I thought I was past all the structural damage and whatnot you know uh, this was just a big big issue with neglect I mean the entire property was you know I you guys should know by now by watching my videos you know I pretty much take care of things and try to maintain things to keep them nice you know but this thing's falling apart faster than I can get it up uh, get it moving along so you know anyway I've got this you can see I brought this thing up uh, a good eight inches off of the ground uh, cut my siding back to get the good stuff this uh, sill plate under here that's brand new uh, it was bad. It only had about four or five feet of good in it So it wasn't worth trying to scab things together. You know, I just put a 2 by 12 in there 2 by 4 by 12 Got that done I found a bunch of termite damage, you know, which is not Uncommon with something sitting on the ground like that. I had to unearth my pipes In here my electrical and my airline and my natural gas I had to unearth that so I could, you know, let it come up out of the ground. Uh, this side only came up four inches. You know, the yard kind of tapers off, which is why, you know, and it's not perfectly level, but it's pretty close. But in the doorway, cut out all the bad to make some good. Got everything back in where I can put this piece of plywood down. I went ahead and put a couple extra supports across here. Uh, you know, because lawnmower comes in and out, you know, I've got some pretty heavy equipment in here and stuff like that. So once I get a new door in, you know, that should give it a better foundation for that. I've got, you know, replaced all the the rim joist and the sill plate there. But I've got a problem because I brought it up off the ground. There's a block way under there in the middle. And there's this support. I don't know if you can see it creeping out right there. That's two two buys with a two by on it, and it runs all the way the full length of the building. Well, somewhere about in there, by that light, no, nah, not even there. It's way back there, kind of back by that shovel. Uh, it's cracked and broken, and it's going downhill. So I've got a trampoline in here now. Only two ways to get to it: tunnel, which I'm not about to tunnel under there. I hate digging. I've done it for years and I thought I was past all that. Try to get in here. It's usually not this messy, but got all my tools out. So what I'm gonna end up doing is tearing this sheet of ply off the floor, dig all the nails out, pull it up, cut along the wall back there. I'm gonna have to move this workbench, get it off of it, cut along the wall and then fur it back out to have a nailing strip get underneath there and figure out what I need to do to fix it uh, I didn't expect to see this issue but you know hey I've got it no fun but making a little progress here uh, I may show that when I get it opened up the damage if I can get to it you know it's not exactly underneath this piece of wood it's a little ways over further under there so no fun but I'll get there I got my floor taken out. I'll show you what I did. But what I failed to mention is all this dirt right here came out from underneath this. Uh, at one point, there was a skunk that was living up in this corner. My dog ran it off, and it had piled up dirt underneath all the way up to the floor level, as well as back there. I got back there with a hard-tined rake and you know pulled out a lot of this dirt. 
and I'm going to show you that spot I was talking about. It's pretty bad. This is the beam. You can see it's buried. It was buried up to right here. There's the, hopefully you can see. What I looked, looking underneath, that looked like a crack. It's not. It's uh, termite damage. You can see it's just absolutely gone. So that's what I'm going to fix and why the floor is so springy. I don't know if you can tell, but you can hear it. It's like a trampoline, so. This stuff's not even treated, for one, which is one reason why it really got taken out, but I'm gonna go ahead and get three treated two by four by 12s and rebuild this. And then there was a block right here. I don't know if you can see the top of it. There's a block there, one at each end. So. I'll fix this, but at least I can get to it now. You can see why I didn't want a tunnel. You can see the dirt up here. I got to do some excavating to give myself some room underneath it. But I would have them taken out probably 24 to 30 inches to make a tunnel for me to get in here to work. So I figured it's a little difficult to take the floor out, but no big deal. At least now I can freely work on it and fix it. And this is the last part of the damage that I found. Everything else looks pretty good and solid but I'll take care of it yeah here's a note for you guys uh, you know I've been working under here and I saw something kind of walk by my leg and hopefully I can get a shot of him uh, you see that little guy in there looks like a field mouse to me hopefully he's showing up And he's been roaming around in here with me for about an hour. I don't care about him, but it's one note on, you know, structures like this. This may have been his home. But you don't, in my opinion, you don't want these things all skirted in because uh, rodents like that or other animals, you know, may be able to get in and they will, you know, build a home because they feel safe. So, I'm of the opinion that structures like this should be open on the bottom and off the ground so they don't feel safe and they won't make up a home. Now, I could be wrong, but that's just my attitude. And I don't know if you can see him. He's, he's there. You know, he's cool looking. He's coming out. <laughs> scared him back in and yeah, he took off <laughs> oh maybe there's more than one I didn't see if he went back in or not but let's see if I can zoom in on him yeah I'm certainly not going to kill him he's not bugging me my voice is freaking him out but you know, I have a lot of respect for all creatures, and, but I don't want them destroying my stuff either. I don't know where he went, but just leave him alone. All right, I've got my new support beam put together and in place. It's just temporarily supported right now. There's actually a block underneath this. You just can't see it because of the dirt I've been moving around. Uh, I've decided that I'm going to put an access hole to access this right here because when not if the building settles again and I need to raise it I won't be able to access this to shim it or do anything to support the middle and I'd end up with a, a trampoline again like I'm dealing with so I decided to make access to that so simply all I did was just put a nailer here one over there and the sheeting that I took out of here, I'm just going to sever it two places. Nail, nail where I'm sitting, and I'll screw this section so I can actually take it out and service this if I need to, which I feel like I will. So, all in all, things are shaping up. Uh, hopefully you remember the squeaking, everything moving. You know, it's just temporarily supported right now, but I'm standing on one of the joists. Pretty solid. You can hear a little bit of stuff 
rolling around on this workbench by me because it's not that's what you're hearing but all in all it's taking shape you know I didn't want to have to do it but it is what it is it's just an idea on this access deal if you guys you know any of you guys run into a situation like this where one of your outbuildings is sinking down and you can't get to these supports just an idea so I'm hoping uh, tomorrow I'll level everything out I'll get the floor put back in and then uh, finish shoring up my doorway put in my new door and move on to the siding this was a segue you know off my original project was just to put the siding on but like I said it is what it is well fast forward the magic of editing I guess ah, it's been a week or two you know I've been working on this off and on we've got rain coming through a bunch so it's really difficult you know got all the siding on got everything shored up uh, it's all caulked the only thing I need to do is fill my my screw holes and whatnot made a ramp like I said comes up into it put in my new door and kind of got everything organized again you know nothing really to show there but floor is all back in everything's pretty much done uh, I need to uh, do a little dirt work outside like I said it's been raining so hadn't been able to do that finish up uh, caulking it and I mean, I'm sorry finish up uh, filling my holes a little dirt work paint it I need to put my light back in a couple recepts down this north wall here no big deal but turned out pretty good it was a lot of work like I said it was a bunch of stuff that I didn't really anticipate you know I wanted to get the whole house wrapped up on the outside painted and all but weather's coming in a little quick on me I may have to wait till the spring didn't want to do that so anyhow it uh, turned out pretty good thanks for watching and good luck